up to George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Why American Christianity is Failing. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. American Christianity is in decline. Our grandparents don't recognize our country because our country isn't a Christian nation anymore, if it ever was because Christianity is in such decline in our midst. And Christianity isn't decline, in decline because we've taken our eyes off the scriptures. That's a symptom of the problem, not the actual problem. Christianity is not in decline because people are living in ways that are of the world rather than out of the world. Again, a symptom of the problem, not the actual problem. And it's not that people are running after whatever tickles their ears. Symptom, not the problem. The reason why Christianity is in decline in America and in the world is because the gospel's not preached in its truth and its purity, in the fullness of its comfort. I desire to know nothing amongst you, says St. Paul, other than Jesus Christ and him crucified. We preach Christ and him crucified. That is our message. Apart from the suffering and death of Jesus, apart from the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross and delivered to us in the word, the water, his body and blood, we have no countercultural saving message in the church. If you remove the gospel, we've got nothing. And for those of you who are thinking right now, well, the law's not preached either. Well, I have two observations about that. Because the gospel's not preached in its truth and purity for the forgiveness of our sins, for the comfort of troubled consciences, and for the answer to everyone's problem, Jesus. Because that's not preached, the law's not preached in its truth and purity either. People do not need, know that what they're doing is wrong, that they need a savior. What they're given is some law that they can do, a watered-down law, a law that, that, it's, that, that we, can, we can accomplish, losing weight, living better, having better marriages, caring for people. You can do all those things and still go to hell. The law, in its maximum severity, kills. I would dare say that in most American pulpits, you'll hear stories. I like stories. And you'll hear guides to how to live. And you might hear a sprinkling of the forgiveness of sins in there. But it doesn't dominate. It's not the reason the, pre the preacher's in the pulpit. Jesus sends the apostles to preach repentance unto the forgiveness of sins. To tell men to repent of their sins in order that they might be forgiven toward the forgiveness of sins. That's why we preach the law. We preach the law in order to preach the gospel, in order that the, law would, the Lord would use his double-edged sword to kill and to make alive. Because the gospel's not preached, the law's not preached. And when the law is preached all by itself, it does nothing but condemn and accuse. Now, there, uh, there's not a preacher who hasn't looked at his people and said to himself in his despair, these people never change. They do the same stuff over and over again. It's like into this ear and out the other. And the cure to that is not more law. The cure to that is the gospel. The gospel is the answer to every problem that we have. The gospel is the cure for sin, death, and the power of the devil. The gospel alone produces the good works that we so desperately need. For this, <laughs> no, the gospel alone produces the good works that our neighbor so desperately needs. 
We could talk about third use and exhortation some other time. But it is enough to say today that the reason why the church is declining is because the gospel isn't predominant isn't dominating every message in every pulpit. And so you should go to your pastor and grab him by his collar and say, preach the forgiveness of sins, man. That's why we pay you. Because only the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross can save. I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.